We have arrived in Warwick and Warwick Castle for a day of historic fun at this quality Merlin attraction. I've not been here for quite a few years, to be honest. So it's good to come back and see it really. I mean, if you like your history, this is definitely the place to come. And of course, it is included as well on your Merlin and your pass. I'm joined by the one and only Charlotte. And also, who we got down here? The drunkards. We got Martin Otwood down there. You right, Martin? <laughs> come for some historic fun. And then we've got the dirty thief over here. The, beard, still. the thief with the beard. What's the beard look like? How are you? Come for some history. I can't get out. <laughs> so you're going to Warwick Castle, it's... Uh... We have to come back at the end of the day. Oh, we'll come back. Oh, hey, we'll come back. Oh, poor Martin. Now, obviously, Warwick Castle is home to quite a few different attractions. Quite a few things to go through, like the obviously the castle tours themselves. You've got the mighty trebuchet show. You've also got the dungeons as well, which, of course, I can't take you inside, as cameras aren't permitted inside the dungeon. But we'll have a little look round and see what other things there is to see here. There's, like, the birds of prey show. And just genuinely, have a little look around Warwick Castle. I really like my history. I know a lot of you think, God, oh, you know, Sean only likes theme parks. I do really like my history and standing here looking at that building it is really impressive. So I look forward to getting in there. We'll have a little look around and I'll uh, give you a tour. It's a quiet day today. It's a weekday in September, so I don't think it's going to be very busy. And uh, yeah, we'll again join us for a historic lesson, really. You ready for some history? Historic Warwick. Here we historic go. Warwick. Hashtag historic Warwick. Let's go. You ready for a history lesson with Sean? Yes. Okay, let's go. <laughs> So we've just got our ticket for the dungeons. If you're not too sure on how Warwick Castle works, there is quite a few upcharge attractions throughout. Uh, you've got all your, like, your walkthroughs and shows and things that are included, but there is upcharges as well. If you have got a premium Merlin annual pass, uh, you will get entry into the dungeons for free. You just have to come to the shop just inside and get a ticket for that. If you've got a standard Merlin annual pass, you do need to pay uh, to go in, and I believe it's nine pounds uh, to go into the dungeons. Just saying, quite a few upcharges, isn't they, throughout yeah, uh, there Warwick is Castle? Quite a few. But like, with the dungeons, I was actually pleasantly surprised that we didn't actually have to pay for the dungeons because the last time I came, I think I had to pay. Had to be a charge for the dungeons. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, quite a lot of free stuff and things to do here as well, like all these walkthroughs, and that's where we're going to start really. Do one of these. We've got our dungeon slot for a quarter to 11, so in about half an hour's time. So, we're going to have a walkthrough. King, Kingmaker! Richard Neville! Oh, the frozen in time. Hello? <laughs> hello? Oh, that's a nice Oh, that's a nice beard, that is views. Oh, yeah, hello? Where, where the hell has he Charlotte gone? Oh, oh there <laughs> We are seeing you now. <laughs> yeah, it's a Kingmaker. This is one of the walkthroughs. Let's have a look at what we can see. Unlike Alton Towers ruins, like, this isn't a ruin. This is the real castle. You know, everything's nice to walk around. And yeah, it's a really good attraction. They're not designed for six foot seven men. No, they're not. Yeah, especially the dungeons here. It's quite unique, actually, with all the low ceilings. And you know, I really enjoy this walking around. I do like my history viewers. You might think I'm only into theme bars, but There's I do enjoy history. The horse. The horse. The horse. Look at that. It's very nice. The list and the audio in here. <laughs> Kingmaker. What? It's very dungeon esque even walking around here, to be honest. I do like walking around. <laughs> Yeah, they are. <laughs> Welcome to the battle. I can't see anything. I have Hello. to win the battle. You, that's it. you got to have a battle with Martin now. Come on, let the battle begin. I oh, that's it. Off. She's unarmed. Oh, Quick, go for it. She's unarmed. Get her. Yeah. I'll try this yeah. Martin, I'll try this one, but it's a bit heavy. Hold on. What? Is it oh, actually? Yeah. Yeah, heavy. Oh, they are heavy, those. What instruments have you got down here? We've got a drum. We've got this, stuff. but I can't get it off the table. Uh, no, is it glued down? Oh, yeah, yeah it's, it's fastened down. down. Yeah. It's good in here, though. It's very well themed. So obviously that first section of Kingmaker just up there must be in like a, another room or something because all the walls are fake, whereas now we're in the real castle. So as you come down these steps, quite interesting. I like all these waxwork models and stuff around. Lots of things to read as well as you make your way around. It's nice to come here when it's very quiet. You really get to appreciate all the different scenes. <laughs> Got the 
this little alcove round here. Not too sure what's uh, round here. Obviously, original. Oh, excuse oh. me. Do you mind? I'm on the toilet. Oh, sorry, sorry, Mark. I didn't realise you were on the toilet round here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've got my candle here as well. Yeah. <laughs> Just creating the atmosphere, right? Oh, oh. Yeah. Sorry, Mark. I mean, this sorry. was actually a toilet in the olden days. Yeah, I reckon so. Oh, it won't lift up. Oh, it's a no, shame. it doesn't lift up. Where's the flush? A few castles that you go to don't lift up, don't they? At least you got that candle to help you. It's got some good wax works in it. Yeah, it's it really oh, nice. Freak me out. You don't like wax works. No. What do you think to Madame Two Swords though? It is a bit like yeah, Madame Two Swords. This place, freaky. to be fair, this is the joint on Madame Two Swords, along with the dungeons and a castle. Yeah, it's a nice day out, and it's good to come here when it's quiet on a weekday like this. You're not pushing in between really everyone. Really yeah, in the summer it gets rammed. Yeah, like, like I have been here on a bank holiday, and I've had to park on a field, and you have to walk twenty minutes, twenty-five walk, yeah. minutes from the car park. I don't know where Alex has gone. We've lost him. He's probably hiding. So is he hiding behind this or something? Oh, he's right. there. I, I, thought, I thought you were going to be hiding behind this sheet. Then nothing to see here. Don't worry. <laughs> Someone get the jester. Jester, where are you? <laughs> Top of hey. Top of hey. It's like the bu it's not the bunny rabbit ride. Bunny rabbit ride. No, 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 no. So we just had a little walk through Kingmaker, one of the indoor attractions, but it's now time for one of our favourites, the, the Castle Dungeon. Oh, this wait. one quite unique, actually. I didn't even think of it, but say your little thing, what you did to me, yeah, just. The only dungeon in the world with an outdoor scene. To an start outdoor with. scene, which is just down there. Yeah. And obviously, what makes this quite unique is the fact that it is actually in a real castle. Yeah, yeah. You know, some of the corridors are very tight, aren't they? It's, and it, it, low roofs it's and all. More people struggle, never mind myself. Yeah, I'm gonna have a great a, time. Yeah, it's yeah. a shame we can't uh, take the camera inside. But yeah, the Castle Dungeon opened here at Warwick Castle in 2009. Uh, so yeah, it's been here quite a while now. I, mean, I remember coming in 2009 actually and, and doing it and thinking, wow, it's a really good dungeon. Obviously since then we've had the London dungeon, what was upgraded and Blackpool have had new scenes and things. But yeah, looking forward to it. And you've not done this one, have you, Charlotte? I think it'll be better though, with it being such a small group. Yeah, yeah, it should but be. I mean, I don't like think there's going to be many more in. Interaction as well. Yeah, and we've got but a good I scene. I get chosen. Well, you're more likely to get chosen now than that now that we're in a small group. group. <laughs> we've got the Witches of Warwick scene in this one, which last time was fantastic. So I can't wait. Mark is not only a big fan of these dungeons, you don't really yeah, like them that like much. Sure. But you can't moan for free. No. It's free. It's Give it's it a go. It's, it's free. Yeah, it's free. Oh, okay. Free. 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 Three pounds. F R double E. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Yeah. I do yeah. just <laughs> think. I do just think they can just uh, just be. If you have done them really before, they can just be a bit. Yeah, I give you that. There is they a lot of similar just be a bit scenes. Yeah. You know. Whereas, whereas. If you haven't done one really before, it is worth doing, yeah. Definitely, and London's probably the one if you've never done one. Uh, but we'll go inside the Castle Dungeon and we'll uh, see you on the other side. Like I said, the entrance is just here. And what I remember is the exit's round, somewhere around that side. So it we'll, uh, is a funny thing. <laughs> we'll see you on the other side. Bit. Enter here, all ye sinners. Let's go. So it's been about 50 minutes since I last spoke to you and we've just come out of the castle dungeon here at Warwick Castle. I must say that's got to be one of the best runs I've ever had on a dungeon. Obviously the scenes in there are really good and the fact that you can't get a better location for a dungeon than a real castle. I mean I know some of the scenes aren't actually set inside the castle themselves and they're more sort of added onto the side uh, such as the courtroom scene for example. Uh, but what an absolutely awesome run through that was of the dungeon. The fact that you're walking around them corridors and it's so shallow in terms of the, the ceilings are really low you're walking around and you've got like dark little passageways leading off around the corners it's a really good dungeon that one I do really enjoy it obviously you've got your traditional scenes in there one that's quite different though is the plague doctor yes it's the same sort of in terms of scripting uh, but you don't have the effects and stuff in that one however I actually think it's more scary 
because you don't really have all music and stuff playing. It's a bit more sort of full on, I think. You've got like a drone in the background and you don't have like all the leech effects and stuff. That's a bit cheesy in the other ones. In here, you've just got like a drone playing. I think it's so much more scary. Uh, but yeah, really good. And the Witches of Warwick scene at the end, fantastic. I mean, Charlotte wasn't really a big, uh, big fan of that, no. were you? Yeah, you, you were a bit upset with it in there. Well, that's what you go in them for. You know what I say, if you don't like these, don't go in them. That's my advice to you, really. But what, what else did you think to it? No, it was fine. It's just that end bit. I don't, I'm terrified of the tar. Yeah. I don't like the tar. It was pitch black. Basically, what happens in that scene, spoilers coming up. So you sit all round, uh, sort of on benches all round the side, and then you've got like these scales in the middle, and he tells you about this story about the witches. The scales start moving, uh, yeah, and then he disappears. He does loads of jump scares. Probably what? Three jump scares, yeah, maybe? Yeah, I've got one. Them. You got one of those, yeah, just the jump scares, and then uh, obviously he disappears, and then you end up with the witch coming out, and yeah, it's it was terrifying. It is good, isn't it? It's a, it's a great scare. Hands down for me, probably the best dungeon I've done so far. I actually good run enjoyed the run. Um, action quality fantastic, a lot of originality to it, and also the fact that it's in a real castle really adds to the sort of yeah. it's of the dungeon. I actually don't think it's very family friendly that one. To be no, honest. I don't. I do think I, I, no. the right and the marketing with it is very much to scare you and intimidate you, but actually, it's the only one that has a sign on the front saying yeah. this attraction is designed to scare it, as well. It works perfectly. Honestly, I feel like that's the only closeness we've got since Merlin has sort of acquired all the dungeons to the original style of dungeons. I think for me that's a personal favourite. It's a bit like Tooley Street how it yeah, used yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Martin got, got, got picked on, didn't he? Yeah, that did was hilarious, that one. Every single time I go into the court case scene, I am always the one that gets picked on, <laughs> right? But the reason why I think the court case for scene is my least favourite is purely because I just think it is a bit samey and it doesn't really have any effects in there. Whereas my favourite scene of that run was the last scene, all right? It's stunning, isn't it? Yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's actually genuinely it scary, that is. the best scene. And the scene with the best acting is all the way through, you see? Whereas the court case scene always seems to be the one that lags for me, to be honest, yeah. because it's just... There just isn't really anything apart from, a, apart from the same old jokes in there. Really, I think actors-wise, really we had a good any... run through. The torture yeah. acting yeah, wasn't very good, I thought. But... Wise, it had. And what I like about it is the effects and the acting. Really, mm. I just yeah. think really. Yeah. I like the cool case scene, it's just a bit same old. I think it's in there just as an ongoing joke, isn't it? I think, I think, yeah, I think it also is. with the courtyard, the courtroom, shall I say. Courtyard? Yeah. <laughs> the welcoming. The scene is. <laughs> the, um, it, it takes away from intense, 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 intense. It breaks it up a little bit. That little We're bit not getting camping. <laughs> Why does it have to be intense all the time? Come on. It's, it's scare, 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 and it kind of breaks away from that a little bit and kind of gives you a moment to think, relax, and then intense scares again, not intense, intense. Intense, um, yeah, go outdoors. <laughs> well, but yeah, It was a good run through, really good run through, and I really enjoyed it. And Charlotte, I know you didn't really like it, and you probably won't go in again, would you, because of that? No, I liked it, I just didn't like that end scene. No. It was too much, but if you've never I done got it. picked on as well, I was putting a cake. Yeah, it's all part of the fun. If you've no, never I done that like end it. scene, though, it it's is just spectacular. The end scene. It is intense. It, you, you, you kind of get an idea of what's going to happen if you've been in other dungeons because you kind of pick up the similarities and differences between them but that end scene is just second to none yeah i think that's really stunning really really nice considering they can't have a drop dead ride it's a really good replacement i think there we go, so that's the dungeon done with obviously lots of other stuff to see here in terms of the actual castle itself, such as the ramparts where you go all around the top, uh, all the different tower here and stuff, and uh, yeah, lots of other stuff to see, so I'll show you a bit more footage here from uh, Warwick Castle. Yeah, I really enjoyed that, really good run through. <laughs> Welcome to the Great Hall. So lots of different things to see in here, and lots of different fact sheets all the way around. It's great to be able to walk in here and there's so many little things to look at all the way around. All the different weapons up on the wall. Like I say, you've got all these little boards all the way around telling you about what it is. Literally spend a day, couldn't you, just looking at it all? It's really nice, yeah. It might not be everyone's cup of tea. You've got to be into history to come here, but it's... It's lovely. Because you can walk all around this top bit and stuff as well. A big fireplace just over here. Let's have a little explore and see what we can see. Inside the great hole. When you think about how much effort has to be put in 
to do all the ceiling and painting it all, it is fantastic. It makes you a bit sad in a way as well, with us being quite connected to Alton Towers, you know, thinking about what that place was once like, you know, and walking around here now and, See it, still here, still and seeing there still in a great state, you know. Just yeah, it's lovely. Obviously set up for a wedding or something in here. It's a very nice venue. I mean, look at this little table at the side. It's amazing. All the portraits on the wall. Beautiful. Beautiful, isn't it? Just walking around. I found your ancestors. My ancestors. Can I present? Yeah. Rob Fourth Lord Brook. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> He's a bit bigger than your uncle than you remember, but uh, he was quite a 1672. Point, <laughs> there he is. Baron Brook. Baron. <laughs> He's been to Aftel in <laughs> <laughs> He's been to the Aftel. <laughs> yeah. Baron. Baron. <laughs> yeah. Baron Brook. Fake wall behind that. It's a what? That corridor used to carry on, it's clearly obvious. Yeah, it's a shame we've got a big mirror instead. Hello. Tyrone. Tyrone. <laughs> We've got this really nice model here, Warwick Castle. Obviously you've got the town of Warwick nearby as well, where you can walk out. We did actually go out for some lunch today down to the local Weatherspoons. It's only about a 10 minute walk from the castle grounds itself. There's like a little gate which opens up and then you get out into Warwick. There's something missing as well. They've not got the dungeon warehouse at the back. Yeah, <laughs> dungeons. Did love the dungeons earlier on. King Harry turns down the eighth. <laughs> there he is, there's six merry wives. You just look at like all these roofs. It's the roofs that really get me in these old buildings. I really do like it. Imagine living somewhere like this. I feel this real chat. I can sit there and do my editing at night, sit there and edit the show. You can get your own red rope. <laughs> yeah. Hey, dinner's ready anyway, Sean. I think dinner's it's time, ready, yeah. dinner is soon. Look at this, it's incredible. Again, the ceiling. All the chandeliers, lovely. Favourite song by Cedar. Like. <laughs> <laughs> we'll stop with the jokes in a bit of history. Cedar drawing room, Cedar Point. What? <laughs> empty chairs, empty, empty <laughs> tables. It's brilliant. Oh, Cedar's gone. As soon as I zoomed in, Cedar went. Oh. Gone. Topfield Drags is gone. And all, the, all the decor all around there, all the wooden boards. Very nice. Fascinating, isn't it? It's lovely. It is a really nice walking around here. Nice views out there of all the gardens that's around Warwick Castle. Mm. I particularly like the radiators. It's something worth noting, aren't You they? like the radiators? The radiators are sort of clearly prefab. Yeah. <laughs> Stunning, isn't it? You just think about how much time, even just to do like one of them little bits that I'm zooming in on now, just look at that. Just to do one of those would take ages, then you think about how many there is on this whole ceiling. Pieces. Yeah, it really makes you appreciate it. It's the sort of thing you get on a, uh, on a, on a Christmas card somebody makes for you, isn't it? Yeah, it is. They yeah. go to the range and they buy loads of little <laughs> stuff. I'd like to come here at Christmas, actually, and come and see it all. I know they've got all the decorations and stuff, all that looks really nice. In the black of night, <laughs> scream of fright. <laughs> Fantastic. Not a white castle. If you're a fan of Alton Towers and past flat rides, then this is the Dynamo. I was going to say, you're a fan of Magician. Magician as well, Dynamo, yeah. 
some uh, coins down here as well. This is nice though, it fascinates me seeing all those. Your water turbine. Originally this area was housed. The single vortex water turbine. Designed by James Thompson. Manufactured by Jilts, is that? I don't know. Fascinating. Machinery, gas engines, transmitting power. There you got a big fish in there. Oh, look at that hashtag big fish. It smells really nice in here as well. Welcome to Peacock Watch. Here at Warwick Castle, we've got this big peacock down here. Oh, look at that beast. Walking along, he's thinking, which way are the dungeons? If you look at the legs really closely, you can see they've got like little rings around them. Clearly Martin, a Sonic, has had his rings stolen. Yeah. <laughs> it's strange to see it so quiet here. I mean, I've only ever been a few times to Warwick Castle. It's not somewhere that I come annually. But it's really nice to see it all, very picturesque, and you saw some footage just of the little show that we watched. I think he needed a, a microphone, to be honest, because it was like a bow and arrow show, and he was really struggling to sort of hear what he was saying. Uh, but we're going to watch a bit of the Birds of Prey falconry show. I'm not too sure what it is. I can't say I've ever watched this, to be honest. And then we've got the trebuchet coming up later on. So I'll show you a few shots of this. We're having a nice day here. We've also just met some fans of Theme Park Worldwide uh, from California. So a big shout out to you guys. I'm sure you've probably watched this video, especially because you've seen us here today. But wait for yeah, the location to come through. Oh, yeah, they're, yeah. they're really nice people we've met from California. Lovely they are. So yeah, big shout out to you guys. And I'll show you a few more shots of this uh, bird show. Close to people has always been the challenge. Uh, and I'm going to try is a captive bred bird. We've bred quite a few of these over the years. They all tend to fly in much the same way when we set them off and start training them. And it's only when they really start to range out and uh, float around on the side of a mountain that they get it. That they... <laughs> so this is Ernie, and Ernie is a Veros or Milky Eagle Owl, and he's actually the youngest member of the team. So the last six months of Ernie's life, So we just watched the bird show and I thought that was really good. I mean, it's amazing how they can train them to fly about. I mean, they were flying all above us here, really close. Really close got some good head choppers now, wasn't they? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah well, really close. close. You impacts. can't help but grit your teeth and think, oh, God, you're yeah, really close. <laughs> <I wasn't laughs> They're attacking us. <laughs> They're throwing. attacking us. Stop. Go with all Do you enjoy that, Charlotte? Yeah. You like the birds, don't you? Yeah, the ones not there was carried up. Yeah, they were massive. I must admit, there was a few points there where I was a bit like, oh, a bit on edge. And you, when they went past, you could just feel the breeze. I was just walking down the pathway there and the guy was like, everybody get low because that bird is going to fly straight yeah, over your head. It's massive. And I watched one guy like that. Like, 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 the big condor. That's great. Oh, these are our American friends. Say hi. Really? These guys are from California. So, here we are. And you, how long have you watched the Channel 4? Uh, for four years. That's crazy. I'll tell you a funny story. I might as well share it with the viewers. We were walking from Weatherspoons at the pub down in Warwick. We are walking down and they were like, theme park worldwide. And they've watched the videos for quite a few years. So, that's crazy. California, we love it over there. But I think we're going to have a walk around the top of the uh, towers and ramparts now. I'll show you some footage from up there. Alex, oh. you don't mind some steps, do you? Shut up. There's about 500. Have fun, mate. <laughs> up he goes. Up the steps. Come on. Up you go. Faster. Come on. Quicker. Up the steps. 
That's it. You've ripped your jeans. Can I just say, though, <laughs> do you not think how good and handsome Alex looks? Yeah, you've lost moment. a lot of weight. <laughs> how much weight have you lost, Alex? A lot. Asia. About two and a half stone. That's really good. He two and a half stone. He just needs a bit of a shave, doesn't he? he just needs two a and a half shave. stone viewers. That's good going, that is. I'm sure if you watch all the vlogs in between since Asia and like this one today, you'll notice a difference how, you know, he's got thinner throughout. Look at that from a side on angle there. <laughs> <laughs> These are like proper photo movies yeah. before and after. <laughs> he just needs a bit of a shave, doesn't he? Oh, you well, no, you've done really well. It's a lot of weight to lose, that is. And I think we're walking around Asia really helps. Establishing power. Charlotte, Great I don't know about yours is because this is the guy's tower and you find the girls Oh, uh, guy's tower, 1395. Is that how much it costs to build it? Yeah. <laughs> well, the, the coast to come in for next year. <laughs> Warwick, uh, Obviously that's all Warwick just over at the side just there and you've got your weather spoons and like I say you can easily get out there through a little gate which will take you around that area and you can get into the town centre. Mind your head. <laughs> Mind your head, please. My head. Smile, you're on CCTV. <laughs> like I'll put that there. Here we are, right at the top of Guy's Tower. Got some good views all the way around. Not very windy, actually. You can see where he was sat just down there for the bird show. Yeah, you got a new phone, haven't you? Phone. <laughs> what phone have you gone for? Not a Windows phone. No, <laughs> unfortunately I had to go with an Android oh. this time. Never had an Android. Because they've stopped making Windows phones now. There's all the steps that we came off. Yeah, that just shows you how close the car park's located somewhere over the back end, isn't it? Over there. I don't know if you can see it from here, but sort of in the trees, I think, a bit further down that way. You've got the entrance just down here. I'm not burnt out yet. I'm not yeah. burnt out. After 500 steps, I'm still not out. I think the whole walk's found just that. I think that was about 100 just. That's obviously your courtyard and entrance area. And then, yeah, your gate is, yeah, there you go. It's just there, look. That's the gate what leads you down into town. If you don't fancy eating here, you can go and get some nice restaurants down there. Not just Weatherspoons. I'm sure there's plenty of other nice restaurants. It's just, we like Weatherspoons. Not that one, though, really. It's not the best spoons I've been to, to be honest. But it was all right. It was cheap. There's all the entrance area. Imagine looking out every day, looking at the castle. It must be really nice. Yeah, realize quite how tall it is till you come up here, actually, and look down. As you can see, you've got a bit of restoration taking place over here as well. Scaffolding's going up. So it'd be interesting to see what they're doing there. Sean, Sean, are you ready for the world's highest pole dancing class? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, oh, watch out, the flag's coming down. Oh, what? Oh, no. What flag <laughs> we got there? We got, oh, we got an England flag on there. Oh, United Kingdom flag. We got a, I don't know an England flag. flag. I don't know, I just know it's ours. That's an England flag. Beautiful views, look at that. Really, really nice. So, from up here at Guy's Tower, looking over there, you can also see a little junior roller coaster as well. It's closed today with it being a weekday in September. But it's a little uh, SPF. Mine coaster that is just there in a park. Oh, that wasn't a very good shot. Just over there in a park. Yeah, that's how far I was zoomed in, just that's why it was a bit shaky. So, yeah, if you uh, head outside of Warwick and want to get another credit, it's over there. I've not actually got that credit, it's one I need to get. I have to come back at a peak time at some point and uh, go and get that. It's open on a weekend, it seems, at the moment. Warwick orders his bowmen to target the advancing horses, legs, and flanks. When hit, the wounded animals scream and leer, unseating their in the pit. Come on, Alex, you can do it. I'm fine. Only 50 right. steps to go. Right. <laughs> Here they come. Okay, Getting your exercise. No lights on that one. No likey, no lighty. Oh, what are you doing? I don't think he's, you're not supposed to crawl up. <laughs> oh, mind your head, please. Thank you. Damage the rock work, please. Hashtag, Hashtag rock work, yeah. <laughs> I do love Warwick Castle, I do really enjoy it. Yes, it's a little bit different to go into, say, a theme park, but at the end of the day, this is an experience in itself, and if you love your history and like your attractions, it's well worth coming here for a day out. And with a lot of people who watch this channel having annual passes, it's well worth coming here for the day, have some lunch, see the shows. It's a really good day out. We'll never guess what you're going to see now. Go on. More stairs! Let's hey. go! <laughs> <laughs> no scares on the stairs. Halloween no coming soon. No scares on the stairs. Oh, more steps, we're going up Caesar's Tower now, not to be confused with Caesar's Palace, which is a casino in Las Vegas. And has escalators. And has escalators, yeah. There we go. Caesar, what have we got around here? Put a pot 
one time. Have you just trumped? Yeah. Martin's just trumped. Oh, that's not a very nice thing to do, is it? Oh, Martin oh, oh, not on the face. stairs. <laughs> Not on the stairs. Oh no! Look at this. It's a bit. Uh... You need to fart. You need to fart. It's got to come out. It's got to come out, hasn't it? Yeah. It's true. Ladies, Ladies and, and gentlemen, gentlemen, one of the, the biggest, most, most powerful, powerful siege engines, engines in, in the, the world, world. The, the Warwick, Warwick Castle, Castle. Trebuchet. Yeah, it's time for the Trebuchet then here at Warwick Castle. This is a, a nice walk around the towers and ramparts. Really enjoyed that. Not only is she one of the biggest, most powerful, most powerful siege engines, engines she is state of the art in Trebuchet design. design. Now, now we'll get to that in a minute. But the trebuchets of this size traditionally will be loaded in a slightly different way. way. They'll, They'll be loaded by a tow down. down. Now, now this tow down, down would have been done, done by a lot of struggling soldiers. soldiers. So, so powerful, powerful animals like horses and oxen will replace them. These, these powerful, powerful animals, the horses and the oxen would wear a harness with a tow, tow rope attached, attached and they would herd in that direction towing down the arm. And this, this method, method worked, worked for a time, time but, but it did, did have, have a few niggling problems. problems. Uh, Let's do it! Ten! Nine! I don't know, what, uh, that's just... It's what, interesting, isn't it? It's really you know, Yeah, to it totally depends what you're into. I mean, it's fascinating to watch, and you think there's a lot of sort of manpower that goes into that, as he was explaining with the wheels and everything. And Martin, last time he was here, was actually a volunteer that helping out. memories of me bowing in front of everybody. That <laughs> it's a shame <laughs> we couldn't have got you on there I've today. Turned that wheel. It was a shame that I wasn't part of the channel then, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah I was going to... Could have got some footage of that, but yeah, it's, it's clever, isn't it? That it's you know, yeah. You know, well, that show like definitely, definitely just screams Warwick Castle, you know. When well, you think of about. Warwick Castle, that's the show that you think about, you know. Yeah, no, I'd agree. Yeah, it's it's good. I really liked it. Hashtag How was it, Bramble. Charlotte? It was okay. Oh my God. I expect it to be like that. I expect it to be the rock, to loads of rocks to be in a bucket and to go in. Oh no, it was only one. Yeah. <laughs> But now we've uh, just got a couple more bits to see. I think we're going to look in a horrible history's maze, and then that's about it for our day at Warwick Castle. Um, yeah, it's a good place to come, like I say. I do think it's a full day out here. I mean, we've come on a quiet day today uh, from 10 till 4. Uh, oh, the peacock. Yeah, we've come from 10 till 4, and we've only just managed to get everything that we wanted to do. So in the summer, yeah, when it's home until 5, 6 o'clock, whatever time, yeah, it is a full day out, and obviously you get the jousting show, which is on in the summer as well. So. Make our way up to the Horrible Histories maze and uh, wrap up our day at Warwick Castle. It's been good though, I've enjoyed it. Oh, how romantic. Let's go. Welcome to the maze. Pick up your time passport right here. Can I see your visa, please? Receiving it, there we go. Thank, Thank you. You're going to let me in. All right. Mm, YouTube, go on. Yeah. <laughs> Time pass for what we got in here then. How do you get stickers or stamps or something? Well, you do you get a reward in the shop? Yeah, yeah. Really? Each time you go to a yeah. country, you get a stamp. Yeah. <laughs> Take your full passport to the stables or courtyard gift shops to claim your reward. Well, I wonder what we get. Wow. And dragons, have a little look. I like the. Uh, is it Astro Surface? What is it? Like a bouncy. Yeah, surface, I like it. Yeah, it's nice, it's a bouncy bar. It's nice on your feet, this is. It is a sort of surface that you play. Oh, look at that. All weather tennis on. This is. Yeah. <laughs> it's comfy on your feet. I know yeah, that. Wanted for messing up time. Yeah, there's some good theming throughout here. Yeah. Dingy castles or daring nights? What would you prefer? What? <laughs> Too many directions. Terrible choosers. Tell you what, I'm going to go to the frightful First World War in that direction. Well, I'm going to go the measly Middle Ages. I've seen it. It's going to have a look. See you later. See you. Enjoy your time. Where the hell are we going? Oh, it's a dead end. <laughs> oh, that's a dead end that way, so. Well, I'm not doing much better than this one. <laughs> it's like the Chinese puzzle maze at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Except with a little less cable ties. Oh, dear. Oh, no, 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 no. Look at that. Come on, Warwick Castle, sort it out. Done. That's cheap. You get the stamp. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Which one is it? Let me have a look. That's it. Quick. Uh, it's the... the, the yeah, you, put it in, you put it in and I'll stamp it. Oh, there we go. Ready? Where does it go? 
Oh, there you go. Ready? Oh, oh my God, is that it? Oh, you've done it, you've done it. Is that it? That's it. Is that actually yeah, it? Now, give me one, give me one. Have a look. Let's have a little uh, imprint. Oh, God. God, I can't even see that. Storming Norman. Oh. Got one stamp left that I need. What? You're not following, be quiet. Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to another Secret Weapon 8 construction video. Today we are here <laughs> at Alton Towers filming you another exclusive well, it's, video. It's a, it's a wicker structure. That's got nothing to do with Secret Weapon 8 oh, at no, no. all. It's not like there's a flame effect coming from it or anything. So you've got two exits. You've got the grown-ups exit and the kids exit. And of course, Charlotte and Martin are taking the kids exit. And the horrible history's maze at Warwick Castle. That's it. Oh. Am I meant to climb over the top or am I meant to go underneath? I think he's... Snatch your skin! <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> What's he doing? I think you're meant to go underneath, he's aren't you? Up, Probably. Yeah. There you go. He's made... You got all your stamps? No, I had one left. Terrifying Tudors. Well, I don't know where that was. We need to go and get it. He's now going to get your gift. I can't wait to see the gift. Can you? We'll head you up to the, the gift shop. For Can I perform have a this for you now? Go on. Exclusive. Oh, Terrible Tudors, gorgeous Georges, Simon Stewart's, Val Victorians, Woeful Wars, Ferocious Fights, Dingy Castles, Dairy Nights, Horrors that Defined Description, Cut Point Council, Evil Egyptian, Vicious Vikings, Cool We'll see you at the gift shop. So we make our way to the end of the day here at Warwick Castle. Time for a little look in the gift shop. Got some uh, wine there as well. Have you want some of that? Wine, mulled wine, cider. Interesting. Sure, it's a pot bag. Oh, all that for a pot bag. You only got a night there. Pot oh, that's to be honest, that's it's that's not a about nice pot bag. It's quite a big one, that is, isn't it? Yeah. What's it say? I'm what? I'm a night village girl. Uh, to be honest, that's that's quite good a pot bag. Got a jousting mug there. Shame you don't get a mug, innit? I do like these mugs. I'll have to come back in summer at some point and, and do that. You then dad it's from area two. <laughs> Quite a bit of stuff in the gift shop. Millions. And that's it. There we go. We'll make our way outside and uh, summarise our day then here at Warwick Castle. I mean, it's been a good day today. I've enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, it's been really nice. <laughs> So it's come to the end of our day then here at Warwick Castle, and you know what? I've really enjoyed it today. The castle's been open from 10 this morning till 4 this afternoon, and we've only just managed to get everything in, really. It's been an action-packed day. Yes, we left for about an hour to go and get some lunch in Warwick itself, but you know what? I've really enjoyed it today. For me, the highlight has just been getting back here, and of course, the dungeon. I love that Witches of Warwick scene, and the fact that we were sat in the perfect place right at the back, and as soon as the stroves went off, uh, she was there. You know, it was brilliant. A really, really good scene. But overall, we've had a good day. I understand with this place you know a lot of people if you're paying to come in it is quite expensive and the fact you've got to pay for upcharge attractions isn't great at all uh, it should all be included really in the price however you know being an annual pass holder it's worth coming here of course you get it included in your pass and of course you also get the dungeons as well uh, which is is brilliant it really is but yeah, i've enjoyed it you enjoyed it martin yeah i have i have really nice had day. a really good day today a bit different to be honest yeah you got a highlight uh, the birds, because I love my birds. To be honest, that bird show. <laughs> <laughs> that bird show oh, was God, better than expected. <laughs> it was the birds. I love my birds, innit? Fuck life. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was good, that, wasn't it? Only one bird for me, though. <laughs> how they train them to do oh. that, you know, it's stunning. Yeah, it is. It? Yeah. How, how, how they fly so close. Dangerously oh, close. Yeah. I mean, I was a bit like, oh, you know, they're getting close. But, yeah, it's been good. You enjoyed it, Charlotte, first visit? Yeah, I'm really enjoying this stuff. Yeah, yeah, you got a highlight? My highlight was the beast of a bird. The beast? Yeah, that was hovering over. Another one of my highlights was seeing Charlotte get so scared in the dungeon when the witch came out. But <laughs> Alex, you enjoyed it? Return I, visit? Yeah, you know what? I, I love it even more than when I came last time. I, I, I Don't get me wrong, I came last time, but the problem was I came with my mother. And she's not a big fan of history, it's just her choice. But for me, I never got to fully take it in and have a sport. Immerse yourself here. into it. And, and enjoy it. You know what? The dungeon, as I said earlier, is probably the best one I've ever had of a dungeon. Yeah. And also, that is my highlight because... That is wonderful, and that finale scene, it's not massive, it's not high tech, it's very much similar to Jack the Ripper um, it is. at the London Dungeon, but you know what? Beautiful. Spot yeah. on. And of playing. course, a big shout out again to our American friends that we showed you earlier on. Really nice. Off camera, we've actually spoken to them quite a lot today, and you never know, we might even go out to California and go and see them one day and spend some time at Disneyland. Thank you very much for watching another video then here on Theme Park Worldwide. Lots to come. The next vlogs on the channel will be from two new parks for me. I'm going to Colmarden in Sweden and also Groenland as well, so make sure you check those out. Thanks for a good day. Thanks for watching, and that means it's time to cue those credits. Bye, guys. More at Castle. Oh, 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 oh,